Greetings, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar, part of the Transforming Data into Digital Assets webinar series presented by PIMSOFT. I am Ryan Bolin, your moderator, and we thank you for joining us and hope you find this webinar informative and valuable. Today, we want to demonstrate PIMSOFT's approach to enable an improved mass balance of the gas network and enhance meter placement through simulation and optimization analysis. In this webinar, you will learn the importance of data reconciliation applied to raw data, the importance of using a model-based view to realize the additional estimates that can be derived, and how to apply the simulation algorithm for meter placement analysis and simulation. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce our presenter for today, Gabriele Barazzi, PIMSOFT's industry principal for gas transportation and distribution. Gabriele. Thank you, Brian. Good morning and good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for attending uh, to our webinar. Please allow me to introduce uh, the company, PIMSOFT, our history and our mandate. PIMSOFT in 1995 became OSISOFT distributor in Italy. And in 2000, PIMSOFT uh, SRL was funded and became also a Sigma Fine Value Added Reseller. In 2010, PIMSOFT acquired Sigma Fine Business from OSISOFT and was funded by PIMSOFT Inc. in the US. In 2018, PIMSOFT acquired the company Omicron. This company has expertise in soft product customization and software capability expansion. PIMSOFT opened also uh, an office in Italy, uh, in India, and found in India LLP. That's a support uh, center for APAC region. We have offices in Italy, in US, and in India. And we are OSISOFT Select Partner. We have different levels of partnership, OEM partner, value added seller partner, system integrator partners, and application provider partner. Our mandate is to condition your process and business data that it improves the effectiveness of the users, whether they are persons, under IT application, or business processes. I had the chance to discuss about the application of Sigma Fine in the transportation and distribution sector with several companies, and together we identified different challenges. For my presentation, I choose the following one. The improvement in the gas network balancing monitoring and estimation of losses, meter failure identification, meter placement simulation and optimization, and support in the digitalization processes. So how can we support our customer to face these challenges? Developing a gas network model through Sigma Fine and use this model to assess different strategies improve the daily operation of the network. But to use the Sigma Fine model, we need data. So the first step is the asset monitoring and uh, from where it flows, the asset data and the meters. All this information has an, are analyzed through Sigma Fine. And thanks to Sigma Fine, that is a data engineering solution, we can obtain accurate flow rates, identify failures, and support also artificial intelligence and machine learning tools. I want to underline this topic because this is how we can support also the company in the digitization process. So we can provide higher data quality to the artificial intelligence and machine learning solution that are already implemented inside the company. The use of Sigma Fine is quite wide in different sectors. But when we focus on the natural gas value chain, Sigma Fine is currently used in gas production, gas processing, liquefaction, and regasification areas. We are working and discussing with company in the transmission and distribution sector in order to close the value chain. Sigma Fine is applied in uh, following this, uh, these steps. The first thing is create a topological model of the gas network. 
Through the model, we find a reconciled solution, the model, in order to improve the daily operation. So starting talking about topological model, we need to know the elements of the gas networks. And in this specific area, we have gas pipelines, gas network nodes, gas supplier and consumer. Suppliers are the transmission and distribution networks. And as consumers, we have businesses, homes, and buildings, and pressure reduction station. The pressure reduction station can be represented in different ways in sigma fine. And we have three types, the city gas station, the intermediate pressure reduction station, and the final gas pressure reduction station. On the right of each image, you can see a table. In each table, we have different attributes. The attributes are the characteristics that we get from the field. And as you can see, for city gas station, we have more attributes than the final gas pressure reduction station. The reason is because different elements we acquire different data. And uh, this configuration can be customized according to customer requests. Once we have defined the elements that we want to represent in the Sigma Phi model, we have to define how and where we want to create the model. The first step will be the model so we can focus on districts of the same city. So in the districts, we will take in consideration pipelines where we have low pressure or minimum pressure. Another approach different is to create a model that is an overall model of the entire city. In this case, we will focus on medium pressure and high pressure pipelines. But we can have also the combination of both. So the customer can decide to start defining and creating detailed model on districts, run the analysis, and once I have the reconciled value, I can upload my reconciled value inside my overall model. So when I will run the, the analysis on the overall model, we get the reconciled value from my district models and the data from the field. It will be a combination of both. Then the, the gas network models requires knowledge about the gas consumption of various user for its calculation. So for sure, in my gas distribution network, we will have fiscal measurements, a city gate level and a home and business level. But more and more companies have started a campaign to install new fiscal measurements on their pipelines. So they're starting to be ready to analyze the data, and then can this, analysis, this data can be implemented in the Sigma Phi model for network balance. At the moment, the companies are applying the following balance equation. So the input minus the gas consumption minus the output give them a result that is different from zero. And the question is, why do we have an imbalance? Discrepancy can be due to metering failures, theft or illegal connection, or losses. The sigma frame balance equation will be similar to the previous one, it will be input minus gas consumption minus output, but the algorithm put this equation equal to zero. The question in this case could be, where is the imbalance that we identified in my previous analysis? The imbalance through sigma fun is distributed to each single measurement point of the network. So to my meters, but I'm doing this um, distribution, taking consideration the different characteristics of each single measurement point, like tolerances. Now we can see a part of a bigger model, a possible representation of my model. And we have measure value in white, the concise value, so the user opening up my sigma fine they can have this view and have all this information. Another important thing, we can calculate the measure flow rate. So 
if we have enough information, we can calculate the value of the flow in pipelines where you don't have a meter. Another application of sigma funny network balance is the leak detection. So we can investigate the possibilities for leak detection. The first thing, comparing meter flow data with the network model reconciled flow. We can provide to the customer condition under which a leak will be detected and make an estimate of the location of the leak. How we can identify the location of the leak? Doing the comparison of the measured value from the meter and the reconciled flow, there will be a, a statistical indicator that when this indicator goes over a limit that will be defined together with the customer, there will be an alert. So if the difference is too high, it means that or we have a, a failure in the meter, or probably a leak or illegal connection. The benefits are the distribution of the imbalance based on the single meter accuracy and not anymore to the final user. The frequency of the analysis will be defined by the user one day, one month, according to the frequency that you get the data from the meters. You can identify the imbalance not just at plant level, but also a single measurement point. You can identify the geographic area where the discrepancy occurs. It's possible to estimate their measured flow rates, support in leak detection, and we will have in the end financial and environmental benefits. From a financial point of view, a better management of your network, the identification of a failure or a leaks or illegal connection for sure will help the company to save money. And also from an environmental point of view, if I identify the leaks, and of course, for sure the quantity of gas that I release in the atmosphere will be lower with a better envir environmental impact. The second analysis is called meter placement analysis. As you know, models can generally be improved by adding more measurement data obtained by meters. The goal of the meter placement is to place the meter at the best location to determine the flow of the network as accurately as possible. The sensor placement algorithm can cope also with existing sensor. So we can start from the point that you are. And for example, in this case, identify three different types of meter. Here is changing the color, but in the reality, you can think of different meter with uh, fiscal meter, not fiscal meter, with different tolerances and different prices. And then we have a fourth type of meter that are the fiscal meter that we have at the end user level. As you can see, the configuration can change. And also you can have a redundancy in a, in a gas reduction station, city gas station, you can have double meter, one fiscal and one non-fiscal meter. So the results can be combined together. This is an example. So we have uh, at the bottom, the, the cost of the meter and uh, compare with the data quality. We can identify the solution with uh, low cost, but also with low quality data quality. Or we can find another solution, configuration of my meter with high cost and high data quality. Or we can find also the best solution that allow me to have the higher data quality at the lower price. The benefits are the identification of the model solvability, the evaluation of the redundancy of the measurement points, the simulation of the meter positioning identify the best configuration that will support the model who have the highest data quality, a new analysis based on cost and benefits, and economic savings. So I can test in the model model and my, in order to optimize my investment. So what I want to underline here is that when you will define in the future, if you decide to use this approach to the Sigma fund, 
the definition of the location of this of this mark meter won't be based just on engineering and production and technical point of view, but also also from the data quality point of view. So the configuration that I will define to my algorithm will allow me to have to produce data with higher data quality. In conclusion, we can run an analysis in near real time based on valid data and reconciled data. It can be automatized and the reconciliation period can go from monthly to daily to hour. We can expand the sigma fine functionalities so we can estimate the measure flow rate, monitor and estimate losses, meter placement simulation and optimization, identification of meter failures, but also we can perform engineering calculation. Sigma fine system is very flexible, so you can implement it inside engineering calculation that can fulfill your needs. We can integrate the results with dashboard and reporting that you have. So maybe now you are doing your mass balance through Excel. With Sigma Find, the results that you achieve, you can share it with other IT platforms like Power BI, Tableau. And in the end, the scalability of the system. So you can start with a model with 250 elements and then go up to 25,000 elements. So we can customize the model according to your request. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, uh, Gabriele. We have a few questions queued up. I'll go through them one by one. First question, uh, can I give low and high limit of reconciled value in SigmaFine? E.g., I don't want my SigmaFine model to reconcile certain meters beyond certain hard limits. Configuration parameter and SigmaFine attribute. Yes, we can customize the model according to your request. Of course, it has to be, uh, we have to do an analysis of the situation with our consultant. Uh, in order to uh, optimize the configuration. Inside Sigma Fine, we have also statistical um, index that will help us to optimize the result, get the best result of the analysis. Uh, why does Sigma Fine model reconcile the meter to negative value to balance the model? Yeah, this is a good question. So I'm going back. So here, I'm sure you saw this one. We see here negative value because we set up the flow in this direction. So simply the with minus value is because uh, the flow is in this direction. So you start to identify the direction of my flow is in my pipeline. How can we limit negative reconcile? E.g., if we know line is non-return and cannot be negative reconciled. So we, we don't have a negative uh, reconciliation. So the reconciliation is dedicated just to the direction of the flow. So it means that according to the measured date and this point and this point, we have a negative point of uh, negative because it's due to the direction of the, of the flow. Does SigmaFine have embedded thermodynamical capabilities, i.e. a steam network? where the vapor might turn into gas or liquid depending on the conditions or natural gas that could reach its dew point? Yes, we have, uh, we have uh, an extension that's named uh, thermodynamic extension that can be implemented inside the network. On behalf of all the participants in PIMSOF, we thank you for taking time to participate in our webinar and share your knowledge. Anyone interested to continue this discussion on mass balance and metering can contact Gabriele directly. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us. It does not look like we have any other questions, so we will be closing this down. We thank you again for joining us. Thank you very thank much. Thank you again, Gabriele. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao.